Glad you made it back, everybody. He won a major case you all might remember at the Supreme Court after he was sued for refusing to bake a wedding cake for a same-sex couple. But Colorado baker Jack Phillips is being targeted once again, this time by a transgender person demanding a cake celebrating the seventh anniversary of their transition. Jack Phillips is the owner and cake artist at Masterpiece Cake Shop Bakery in Colorado. Joins me now along with Senior Counsel for Alliance Defending Freedom, Jake Warner. Gentlemen, thank you very much for carving out the time. Jack, I want to start with you. It's clear they want to destroy you to send a message to other Americans that we don't have a right to disagree with the American left and their, the way they believe it ought to be, even if our rights are spelled out in the Constitution. Am I right? Yeah, well, first of all, let me just make it clear that I serve everybody who comes into my shop. It doesn't matter what their uh, gender identity or sexual orientation is, religion, race, whatever. I serve everybody, but I'm not able to create every cake that people ask me to create. Uh, some cakes have messages that I don't want to express. And that was the case in this third lawsuit. Um, the person that called us up was an attorney here in Denver who called us up requesting a cake that was blue on the outside and pink on the inside. And that cake, those colors were to uh, uh, celebrate a gender transition, changing from a man to a woman. And when we explain to this person, you know, we'll gladly create other custom work for you. You can come into my shop, buy anything we have, cookies, brownies, cakes off the shelf. Um, that's just a cake that we can't create because of the message that it expresses. And so this person filed a complaint with the Colorado Civil Rights Commission, and uh, they pursued the case. And then the Colorado Civil Rights Commission dismissed it later. And, yeah, uh, it's pretty clear what's happening. It's pretty clear what's happening here. And Jake, uh, they're, they're trying to find Jack here. Colorado's laws are clearly in violation, in my opinion, of the U.S. Constitution. In a purple state like Colorado, how can we work to punish these leftists for bringing forward these lawsuits designed to make people who don't conform to their social wishes hell rather than having, uh, you know, uh, being comporting with the Constitution. How do we make the left wing pay a price for what they're doing to Jack here? Every American should be free to say what they believe without fear of government punishment. Certainly, Jack has been in the line of fire for over 10 years now, and we're hoping that at the end of this, uh, the courts will affirm the right of every American to live and work according to their faith without fear of government punishment. Thankfully, there's a, a case that the U.S. Supreme Court will hear later this fall where the, the court will have an opportunity to say just that. It involves Lori Smith, owner of 303 Creative, a website designer also in Colorado. Uh, our oral arguments are scheduled, scheduled for uh, later this fall, and we hope that the U.S. Supreme Court will uh, uphold the First Amendment freedom of everyone to live and work consistently with their deepest beliefs. And this should protect everyone, not just people like Jack and Lori, but people who have uh, wholly different views on life's biggest issues. Now, Jack, you know, you, you made mention of this, but uh, you just confirmed it for me. The last time I checked in with you, you had a storefront. And anyone can come in and buy your yummy cakes and creations if they want to. Doesn't matter who they are, but that's not good enough for attorney Autumn Scardina, who is seeking monetary damages from you because she and other agenda-driven leftists want to force you to create products that you're not in the business of creating. Uh, now, now th they could go and get a sexual transition cake basically anywhere, but they want to force you to do it. Why? You know, I don't know the motivation, but uh, the Constitution clearly protects my right. Colorado is trying to take away the right for me to decide which messages I create and which messages I decline to create. And again, I serve everybody, even Scardina. I will serve everybody, but I can't make every cake and promote every message. And Colorado just wants to uh, change that. Jake, I have a series of questions for you, Counselor. Uh, I'm going to go through these and then I want you to answer. Can I or another American force a Muslim restaurant owner to handle pork if I want it? Can I force a gay baker to make a cake that says marriage is between a man and a woman? Can I force a Christian contractor to build a strip club? If the answer to all of those is no, then what case do these leftists have against Jack? Well, Jack's case and the case I mentioned earlier involving Lori Smith is about one question. Can the government force someone to express a message that goes against their deepest beliefs? And the First Amendment provides a clear answer. That's no. Every American has the right to live and work and express messages consistently with their deepest beliefs without fear of government punishment. And we're hoping that the court will uphold the freedom of all Americans, including Jack and Lori, uh, to live consistently with their faith in this case. 
Jack Phillips, Jake Warner. Guys, thanks for uh, – keep us updated on how this all goes because I think this is, uh, this is an element of freedom that's under attack in this country that we can't retreat on. Uh, we can't – this this far, no further. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it.